hello and welcome to my channel we're gonna do this very easy stitch I'm gonna use 7.0 millimeter crochet hook this uh, stitch works with any numbers of chains if you want to chain even number you can chain odd number it doesn't matter I have here 10 chains we're gonna do a small sample we're gonna skip the first chain and into the second chain from the hook we're gonna do a single crochet but first we're gonna flip the chain and we're gonna work through the bumps yeah, the back of the, the chain I will suggest when you work with this uh, stitch at least in the beginning the when you cast the chains please cast them a little bit loose yeah, it's gonna be easy the, the next row yeah, what I'm gonna do so we're gonna skip the first chain and into the second chain we're gonna do a single crochet and sometimes you're gonna have to flip it and lift a little bit the bump and then introduce the crochet hook the the bump has only one strain of yarn yeah so we're gonna do a single crochet you move to the next chain and you can see the bumps they're very easy to be spotted and we're gonna do single crochet in each chain with this stitch I will uh, recommend use one crochet uh, number bigger or two numbers bigger than the yarn recommend that's gonna be easy okay now the last uh, chain also single crochet okay now we're gonna chain one turn your work and into the first stitch if some of you you're familiar with a thermal stitch it's the same uh, let's say work so we, we're gonna work through the back uh, loop yeah? so these are the stitches here and we're gonna work through these back loops first we're gonna start into the first stitch with a single crochet so you're gonna flip a little bit the, the work and you're gonna go through the back loop and then you're gonna go one row below where the chain was yeah so this is the these are the loops from the the lines from the chain that's why I said leave it a little bit loose when you cast the chains it's gonna be easy to introduce the the crochet hook through this uh, these lines and we're gonna do a single crochet yarn over the hook and from this moment forward until we finish the row well the last stitch we're gonna do single crochet we're gonna do only double crochets so we did the, the single crochet into the first stitch and you're gonna move to the next stitch and it's best if you keep your uh, your work at least in the beginning like this it's gonna be easy to to see yeah so the next stitch yarn over the hook and we're gonna do a double crochet next stitch and you have the lines this one the back loop and this line of the chain so it's very easy to to go through the line of the chains so you move to the next stitch back loop and the line of the chain on the bottom and you're gonna do a double crochet and so on move to the next the lines should be parallel yeah so you have the these lines then the next lines next and so on so the next stitch through the back loop and the line on the bottom do a double crochet and so on next stitch next stitch back loop and the line on the bottom which is the line of the chain so now at the end we have the last stitch so if you flip your work back loop it's right here and the line of the chain so in this one we're gonna do a single crochet we're not gonna do a double crochet so we started with a single crochet we're gonna finish with a single crochet 
So this is one of the rows. This stitch has two rows repeat. You're going to chain one, turn your work. And the first stitch is here. You're going to go through the back loop and the line on the bottom. So now you see that the lines very easy. Yeah. You have the lines that you're gonna go through, back loop and the line on the bottom. So this row is gonna be single crochet in each stitch. So the next stitch you go through the back loop and the next line, which is on the bottom, and you do single crochet. After a while, after your work grows, then all you have to do is just have it kind of like this yeah. and you go directly the lines are parallel they should be parallel otherwise it's a it's a problem back loop next stitch it's quite easy this one well when you have to do the single crochet after you do the the row of single crochet after you do the the row of double crochet this uh, row, it's a little bit, uh, well, it might slip from your crochet hook because it's a lot of distance from the back loop to the, the last on the bottom. Next stitch, and you pick up the line on the bottom. Next stitch, and so on. So now the last one, we have the stitch and you have the back loop and the line here yeah. and you're gonna do a single crochet now this row is gonna be easy when we uh, we do the double crochet because the 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 line the back loop and the line below it, they're very close yeah. so you're gonna chain one, turn your work the first stitch is here this is the front loop, so you're going to go to the back loop, and the line is right here, it's so close, yeah? So you have the lines right here. Yeah? With the, when you have to do the, after you do the, well, the double crochet, and you have to, to do the single crochet row, that it's a little bit it's slippery, you might uh, lose the yarn and you have to go back again and do it. So single crochet into the first stitch yeah? and into the last stitch also single crochet and the stitches in between the first and the last will be double crochets. Yeah? So yarn over the hook, you go to the next stitch, back loop and the line is right there. And you're going to do a double crochet. Next stitch, back loop and the line is right there, the one in the bottom let's see and this is a very dense stitch it's quite thick depends on your yarn size next stitch back loop and the line it's right there so double crochet in each stitch not the last one next stitch back loop and the other line on the bottom and now the last stitch we're gonna go through the back loop and pick up this line okay. and you're gonna do a single crochet now you're gonna chain one turn your work and now we're gonna repeat the row with a single crochet in each stitch so you the first stitch is here back loop and now we have some distance between the back loop and the line below so sometimes you're gonna lose the, the yarn, might run away from your crochet hook well, you're gonna have to do it again next stitch, back loop and the line there and so on, you're gonna alternate like this, one row of single crochet one row of uh, double crochet but the row of double crochet, the first stitch it's single crochet and the last stitch it's single crochet. In between it's just double crochets. And you're going to finish your work with a row of single crochet. 
and then after you finish this row, let's say you finish your work, I'm going to show you how to close this. So the last stitch, you have the back loop and the line right there. Single crochet. Now let's say you, you finish your work and you want to close, whatever you choose to do. You're going to chain one, turn your work, and now we're going to go through the stitch like a normal single crochet. So the first stitch is here, when you introduce, you're not going to go through the back loop. You're going to go underneath the stitch and you should have two strings of yarn. Yeah? And then you introduce your crochet hook underneath the stitch and you go the line below and you're going to do a single crochet. Next stitch, pick up the two strings of yarn, the stitch, and then the line below. And you're going to do a single crochet. So you go underneath the stitch and the line is right there. Single crochet and so on. It's going to be easy. Well, with this stitch you might have to practice until you know where, which line you should pick up. Where is it? With the half double crochet and the double crochet, the distance between the back loop and the, the line uh, below, it's somewhat uh, big. So the last stitch, you go, you have two strings of yarn, and you have the line right there. And you do a single crochet. You're going to chain one, pull up a loop, cut the yarn, and you close your work after you hide the tail. So it's going to look like uh, like this. I did a sample. So this is one of the the signs. It's quite nice. And uh, the side of the work it's straight. And this is the other side of the, the work. So this is the back. And in here you're going to have the double crochets, the row with the double crochets. And in here you will have, well, somewhat single crochet, but some modified than the normal uh, thermal stitch only with a single crochet. Yeah. So if you like to work with this stitch for something, give it a try, you might enjoy this. You can do a scarf if you don't mind that the, the stitch is not uh, reversible. Well, I hope you enjoyed this stitch and you will find something uh, to do. Give it a try. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.